Degrowth could be simply defined as the voluntary and conscious attempt to downscale our levels of consumption of material and energy and, and this is important at the same time, creating a more democratic, uh, more just, more egalitarian society. Degrowth is at the realization uh, that uh, the type of economic growth that we've seen in the last decades and we, we know the type of economic growth uh, is neither uh, feasible anymore nor is it um, desirable. Uh, this is because we are reaching uh, impo very important biophysical limits. One of those limits uh, is the limits of resources. Uh, we have, there's lots of scarce resources and um, we need them to run our system, to run our society and they're becoming increasingly scarce. For example, like, like fossil fuels and we have the phenomenon of peak oil. But even uh, say if we had enough fossil fuels to keep us going for even longer, we, uh, we should be, it's uh, not a very good idea to do that because we have another important uh, limit which is uh, the limit of our um, atmosphere to absorb CO2 emissions. And that uh, brings us to the problem of climate change, which is of course one we urgently uh, need to address. These limits that I've been talking of, uh, we should rather see them also as an opportunity. Uh, it can be a motivation for us to transform, to transform our society. The degrowth approach towards technology is a, a rather different one uh, to the dominant uh, view or dominant approach or attitude towards technology, which is one of uh, where we see technology and innovation is always good. The more the better and it doesn't matter which type uh, or which uh, application or which purpose. Uh, degrowth takes a more reflective approach, uh, it asks critical questions and uh, most of all this, these questions could be summarized in terms of uh, what technologies do we need and want um, for the kind of society we want to live in. Degrowth is a hot topic right now uh, because uh, we, we see uh, increasing interest in uh, issues like climate change, like the European Union as we know has this uh, goal of a post-carbon economy by 2050 and uh, for example in a research project that I, I mean we're looking at the different pathways to get towards that goal and increasingly it's also uh, uh, quite obvious that for, for reaching these goals a reduction of, of our consumption uh, will be necessary. There's um, uh, a growing interest in, in the concept and this in a, in a way is good news for people who are um, very active in the movement but also people who really care for um, creating a, a better world for future generations and our children.